All right, YouTube. I am going to make a very, very thorough video on this van that I'm selling. So you will see the good, the bad, and I will tell you everything I know about this van. So it's going to be lengthy, but I want somebody to know exactly what they're getting into because it's a cool old van, but it does need some love. So let's get into it. It is a 79 Nomad G-Body uh, regular wheelbase, not extended, not short, wheelbase van. Um, under the hood it shows the options that it had. I will show you everything about this so you can see the good and the bad. So you can make your own decision as far as what it's worth to you. And if it's not for you, I fully get it. I just don't want somebody to run into what I run into when I go to buy vans. Somebody that's not honest about it. So I'm going to do everything I can to show you every rust spot, every dent, everything I know. So if I miss something, leave it in the comments. I'll make another video. I don't mind. So I don't want people to experience what I did for the last two days, driving to Phoenix, driving all over, spending a bunch of money and gas, and being disappointed when I get there. So let's go. All right. The front bumper on this thing is sweet. I didn't see any dents in it, which is nice. Um, there is starting to peel on part of the chrome here. There's a shot of the grill. This is starting to crack there. Headlights work. I'll go through all the lights later. But if you can look down the side of this thing, it is super, super straight. So, try to get a good view of it. I will show you the dent that I recognized in this side, and it's very minor. I'll go over every body panel. So there's a little, little one right there. So this has not been somewhere where there's been road salt or crazy stuff like that. This is a, it's been in Arizona, honestly, most of its life that I know of. So from what I've seen, it will need tires. These tires are BFGs. They hold air. That's it. They are simply rollers. So, and keep in mind, if this, if you're looking for a driver, this 100% is not your van. So just stop the video now. So carrying on. So, um, tires are rollers. And uh, you can see around here, somebody back in the day got carried away with black silicone. Just how they roll back then, I guess. So I'll get up on the ladder so you can see the roof. Uh, there's a shot. And I will go under this van, under the hood, into the van. I have the windows open right now to show you that the pop windows work. Doors operate like they should. Here's the one dent that I was talking about, and it is, if you can see it, it's a pretty little guy. So otherwise, this thing is super straight down the side. So it did come factory with an extended um, arm. I'll show you under the hood where it shows that. So there's the wheel wells in here, undercoating. And again, just rollers for tires. They all match. They're all four BFGs, but they are weather checked. So again, with the silicone. So this thing's pretty cool though. It's got really, really good bones. Like it is a very straight, if you're looking for that vintage G body um, Chevy and you've got some money to put into it, it's got killer bones. So it's a, it's a really cool start. So all the trims are in good shape around the lights. Um, these are a little faded just from the sun. But those all work. These windows to me look different. I've had a bunch of these vans, and I don't know what kind of windows these are. Um, they're kind of weird. They're in there upside down, but maybe that's something they did back then. Ladder's in good shape. It's all chrome. It's really nice. This is a, a little whirly dinger in the bumper, so it didn't get into the body. So it's just the bumper that's got that on it. There's the other trim. Might as well get up on the roof now. So, <clears throat> oh. You can see there's not rust around the, the rails or the um, drip rails. So there's your roof. Try not to die. Oh, jeez. All right, getting to the driver's side. Oh, 
again with the silicone. Somebody loved the black silicone way back in the day. This spot, so this is really disappointing. There's a rust spot here. You can see the size of my finger. And there's a rust spot here, which is really uncharacteristic of this whole van. Um, and I looked underneath it, and I might as well, since I'm here, show you. It is where they bonded a body panel. And it's really stupid. It's right here. So where they attached the inner to the outer from the factory, it must have been where the water sat. And it damaged it, and it's the same right there. And that's the two spots. It's a really bad design, but that is the two spots. Um, I'll get underneath the van a little later in the video. You might as well see down the side how straight it is. But yeah, that's those stupid two spots. Yeah. Good job, Chevy. So, here's your inner fender. The undercoating. It's got overload springs on it. Somebody at some time decided that this was a good idea. I don't know why, but they're there. So there is a little bit right here. Looks like a little surface rust here, here, and here on this body trim piece. So, you can see. That guy, it's got these cool chrome visors. Kind of dig those. All the glass is in good shape. The mirrors are in good shape. Door handles are in good shape. Again, tires hold air. That's all I'm saying. This one does have the one dent that I noticed right here. So that's pretty minor too. If you look down the side of this thing, it is a really, really straight van for how old she is. So. All right, now I'm going to set you down. I cannot open the hood with one hand, so give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right, hang on. Let me put the... All right, here's all your information on what the van came with. And you can see tinted glass, all the equipment. Pause it if you want to check it out. I'm moving on. So... There's all your good old uh, catalytic converter information. I would say that this probably is not on here. So I don't know, but I don't see a catalytic converter underneath it. I haven't checked it out. If you're in California, I don't know. I guess you're out of luck. So look elsewhere or buy an old 75 or something. I put a new battery in it. Um, yeah, here's under the hood. It's been converted to, um, I thought I saw it was converted to 134. R12. And 134. So I believe this thing has been converted to 134 and it has front and rear air. It does not work. That's pretty typical though. All right, let's dig into this girl. So moving on to the inside. All your door cranks or your door handle and your window cranks, they all work. Windows go up and down like they, like they should. So uh, just a little scope of the inside. I don't think these things typically had dash issues because it's such a heavy plastic dash, but dash is in good shape. I have no idea what that is over there. I don't know. Um, the radio turns on. This clock is hot, but it doesn't work. You got your Chevy van manual, 1979. Love box. Seats are in pretty good shape. They're just dry. So the carpet's all there. Here is the seat. The door jams are clean. So when I open this door, you will notice that the door opens and it kind of pivots down. So never had a problem with it opening or closing. That's just how it works. I may, I may be thinking it's because of the extended swinger on the outside, but you can see it kind of pivots sideways, but it opens and closes like it should. So getting into the van, there is a seat, a big bench seat with seat belts that is right there that goes with it. And it just hooks right in there. It's got all your seat belts. Uh, we'll get to that in a second because that does turn into a bed, which is pretty cool. But looking inside, here's your um, 
step right there, it's clean. Inside there is clean. No rust or weird stuff. Again though, there is silicone. Somebody really loved the silicone. So, hopping inside. Somebody made these cool window coverings. So, you could have your pop windows out, and they made a wood trim covering with a um, screen. So the bugs couldn't get in. And those just pop right out. So, they're not really held in with anything. So here is a view of the front end area. Headliner's in it, but the headliner, um, it kind of sags in the back. But it's all there. Uh, driver's seat's in good shape. We'll get around to that side in a minute. So, this visor's pretty dry and brittle. Uh, what else? We'll get to all this stuff when I go around to the driver's side. So, all the seat belts are there. So, getting back here. Um, I have not opened those windows, but I imagine they open. I don't know. This is kind of cool, though. This bed, I'm going to put you guys in a bigger view. So, put you guys in a bigger view here and try to do it. This bed, this piece pulls out, and then it pivots up. See if I can do it with one hand. It pivots up and open, and then all you do is push this, and you got yourself a bed. So there's that. Kind of cool. And then it just as easily goes back. Do that. Lift it up. And uh, now you got a couch again. There's your rear air. It doesn't work. Uh, what else? So that's kind of the inside. Scope it out. It's got paneling. Hope I'm showing everything that needs to be shown. Your wide view here. Alright, we'll go around the back. I guess I could close this so you guys could see. So you can close it. It closes to that point. And your handle's in the up position. And then when you put it down, it locks it. So the doors. Door shut. Like they should. Alright, moving around to the back. Back doors. Carpet and paneling. Jack. Probably not secured very well. No, oh, actually, it is secured. Here's a shot of the inside from way back here. Uh, it does have, there's a spare tire carrier that goes with it and a spare tire that goes with it. Also old. Old there, though. Driver door. Wonderful. The pot metal here for the door opener broke. So likely it'll have a vice, a pair of vice grips on it. So this window operates like it should. Driver's seat. It's in good shape. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's just dry. So your cluster. Uh, she's seen the better days. I have no idea how many miles are on this thing, by the way. So if you're looking for something that's got a specific amount of miles, Probably not your van, because I don't know. I have no idea. The history of the miles is pretty much unknown. So, um, I have the doghouse off. I can send you a picture of that. Uh, the engine looks like it should. I mean, it's factory. There's nothing that's been really different on it. So, this is a, uh, I don't know if I can get it to work, but this is a horn button. Oh, you can barely hear it. So, the horn doesn't work very great. This is high beams, and I don't remember what that is. It does have a manual fuel pump right here. You flip this switch and manually a fuel pump will come on. So if it's been sitting for a while, it primes it and then you have your mechanical fuel pump on the engine. So I'm gonna zoom back out and we'll start it. So you guys got a good idea of what it looks like and we'll fire it up. Just that easy.
you've seen it run. Now, I got the bad news for you. So I got this thing and I thought, well that's really cool, got it running very easily. You put the thing in gear, and it moves barely. So you can see us barely creeping backwards. So I checked the fluid. I'm gonna put it in park and turn it off. Alright, so I checked the fluid. And it's got fluid, so that's where I said bring a trailer because you're not driving this girl home. Well, and the tires just hold air. So I'm not going to go through it. I'm not getting into the trans. It's probably got a turbo 350 or turbo 400 on it. So worst case scenario, rebuild it. It's like 1200 bucks if you're that into it. If it's a deal breaker, sorry. So I'm not going through it, but it's a super clean van. So let's crawl underneath the thing so you can check it out. See what the underneath side's like, because I know there's some East Coast guys that are probably wondering how much rust is on it. So I'll do the best I can to show what it's all about. All right, so there's your front end. <coughs> Let me crawl under the middle. <coughs> So there you can see there's no rust or rot or anything like that other than that one panel over on the driver's side where the stupid Chevy decided to bond the outer to the inner and not coat it. So there's the underneath. So I will crawl under the other side. This is just a, um, where is it? That is a watermark. Don't stress out. That's just a watermark. It is not. It is not rust or anything like that. It's here, I'll rub it off for you. There. Um, I'll crawl under the other side so you can see it. There's your bottom panel. Oh, goodness. Oh, you know what? I did see one more spot. One more spot right here. So there's a little right there. I'll try to so you can kind of see this is caved in. It's about the length of your pointer finger. So that's pretty minor. You almost can't even see that. So on this side. Yeah, there is no catalytic converter on this. So California people, you are out of business. This is not the van for you. All right, I think I have showed everything that I can possibly show on this fan. So oh, I'll crawl under the back. It does have a receiver ditch. And some fan fantastic stuff I'm not going to lay in right there. <clears throat> so here's fuel tank, receiver, and I think there's an air shock thing right there. I'm going to say the air shocks probably don't work in this thing. So, all right, walk around it one more time for you so you can see what it is. It does have a Arizona title in my name. It's a 1979 Nomad. And I think, just for this van, almost positive in my junk, not junk parts, my van parts, I think I have a tube grill for this van. So I will go through my stuff, but I'm almost positive for this front end, I've got a tube kind of era correct. It's probably got about 12 round tubes that are chrome grill for this one that I'll throw in if it fits. 
So something I've been hauling around for years and years, and this is the perfect van for it. So go up here again so you can see. Oh, there is a there is a chip in the windshield. Right there. About the size of your pointer finger. So there's the VIN. You want to get all excited? Do research on the VIN. Check it out. Get a Carfax. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to find, but hey, some people do that kind of stuff. So have at it. Knock yourself out. So popping it up. It will be for sale on Inland Empire. No, no, no. I'm not doing Inland Empire because it's a... You won't pass smog in this thing. I will post it in Phoenix, Arizona Craigslist, Las Vegas Craigslist, and I might creep into some other areas that are not California with this thing on Craigslist. And I'm not going to put a number on this video because I'm not sure, but I'll give you an estimate. I think I'm going to ask three grand. So if that's a deal breaker for you, sorry. But they're getting kind of hard to find, and I know it needs love, needs work, but it's damn good bones. So if you love vans and you watch this video in its entirety and you're hearing my voice and this is the van for you and you're going to love it and you're going to make it a road queen and go travel in it and have an awesome time in it, I'll sell it to you cheaper. I like van people, so I just don't want to get them people that are going to flip it and do stupid stuff to it so if you're gonna put this thing on the road tell me some cool stories i'll make you a sweetheart deal on her so there she is 1979 i believe it's a g20 i don't know if it's g20 g10 or g20 i don't I, that was that weird 79 is kind of that weird year that they were in the middle of stuff so any questions leave it in the comments hopefully i have showed you everything you need to see on this van um that's everything i know on this van uh if you need something done oh the headlights so all the lights Pop those on real quick. You got, a, you got a little buzzer when the lights are on. All your lights work, except for one. Your side marker light. Your side marker light. Tail lights should work. Tail lights work. Tail lights work. And then there's this guy. So I'm sure it needs a bulb. All right, leave it in the comments and happy vanning, people.